All right, hey everybody, we're back with Fallout 76. Once again, for like the 200th time on this channel probably. But yeah, we're doing another episode of The Walk. What is The Walk? Well, The Walk is a thing I used to do on this channel months ago. Last year, I kind of ended it because I was bored of doing it. But it's where I take this very, very outdated Prima strategy guide. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably can. I have a pretty decent mic. So yeah, I, I take this very outdated Prima strategy guide, I open it up to a random page. If that page contains a location, we fast travel to that location, and then I walk back to my camp just to see how long it takes and what we see along the way. And I kind of just ramble on about things that are affecting me in life. And the game. So yes, let's open it up to this page. What do we got? Uh, Kerwood Mine. Warfire Base Major it is in the Cranberry Bog, so this is going to be a long one. Kerwood Mine is here. It's part of the Brotherhood Steel. Oh no, Wastelanders quest line. There used to be a Brotherhood quest inside of here. Maybe it wasn't a quest, but there was a hollow tape of a like a Brotherhood member that used to be inside of Kerwood Mine. I don't think it's still there. I think they removed it, or maybe it's still there, and I just. I haven't found it again. I don't know. But yeah. This is my rifleman character. This is a another. Why are dogs so tanky? This is another um lever action I got off somebody. Not as good as though my main lever action. Maybe I haven't outfitted it correctly. It's this one. It's got Berserkers, because this is a Berserkers character. You know where I don't wear any armor. Uh, Vats Criticals, and that weird effect where sometimes you get a stealth field, but that I don't think it actually does anything. I don't even know why it's a, an effect. This is the one. Where is the one I usually use? This one. This is the one I usually use, the explosive one. I really like this one. Uh, I was just trying different things. Alright, so best way to get back to the camp. Go up by West Tech, come down through there. Maybe we'll go down through there. Surface to air. I really don't want to do surface to air. Um, don't really know. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Uh, the reason, like, one of the reasons I stopped doing the walk, like, a year ago is because just how... Like, bored I am of this game, right? I'm gonna say, because... The weird thing about Bethesda in this game is that Bethesda is very, very, very focused on content. Not for high levels. Their main focus on content, it seems to be based on getting people to come to the game. Or, like, new players. They are mainly have been focused on new players. And getting people who quit to come back. So, that, those are the main focuses of Bethesda. The people who've been here, who've stayed here, like me, you, we kind of get some content every once in a while, but it's not really, like, their priority. They're also, you know, it seems Fallout First is their priority with the update that was today. Well, for this video, it's going to be tomorrow. Yeah. With, you know, the Fallout Worlds. It's like, hey, buy Fallout First. There's more benefits for Fallout First. It's like, eh, yeah, no, I'm not buying Fallout First. I do not want Fallout First. There's nothing in Fallout First I want. Yeah, the infinite stash box is cool, but um, not enough to pay for, in my opinion. Private Worlds? Don't really need that. I don't like playing by myself, and nor do I have enough friends to play with me um, <laughs> to need a private world for ourselves. You know what? The I have, well, I had four friends that played this game. All right. One... He was in the military, and he couldn't play all the time. Uh, he's in the uh, Airborne. Not the 101st Airborne. I think he's in the 82nd Airborne. Yeah, he's, in the, he's in the Airborne. Uh, and he eventually... I don't know, just thought... I guess just military stuff. And he, he, he moved all around the country. I remember that. Like, he was in uh, one of the Carolinas, and then he moved to Ohio, and it, he was all over the country. And he kind of just stopped talking to us. I guess because, you know life he started family and did all that so goodbye to him uh the one friend other friend i have um 
despises any game where you have to do anything multiple times. So, grinding. He hates grinding so much that he quit playing. He, he will quit any game where you have to grind. And so he stopped playing this. And then I had another friend who played this. And he's, um, uh, let's just say he's dumb. And this game was too complicated for him. And so he quit. And my last friend, he plays this, but he has a lot going on in his life. And so he gets on maybe, I would say a total of like 10 hours a month, maybe, if that. This year it's been, he's got on Xbox like probably less than 10 hours this entire year. I'm just saying that. Yeah, so I don't really have many friends that play this anymore. I had some, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was watching a Fallout 76 live stream today, and this guy made good points. I agreed with like everything this guy said. I forget who it was. I forget his name completely. But he was older. Maybe not older, but like maybe sounded like he was in his like 40s or maybe like late 30s around there. A Gen X person, I guess. I guess that would be Gen X. I don't know. I don't know the generations. And he was right. It's like Bethesda needs to add a bunch of like mini bosses to the game. And it's not that hard. It's like, it's like when this game first came out, Bethesda talked about nuke zones, right? Nuke zones. Nuke zones. They are going to be places where high level players, they're going to farm, they're going to be filled with lots of super tough enemies, and it's just going to be, you're going to want to be launching nukes all over the map. Like Rifle Gaming did. Rifle Gaming used to launch nukes all over the map. All right, now he quit playing Fallout 76 altogether. Oh, we're at West Tech. Hello. Hello. I'm probably going to die. I did not prepare for fighting West Tech. Eh, I want that. It's going to run away from that. Or should I fight them? That is a Overlord. Okay. Overlord's not the strongest. Champion is the new strongest super mutant outside of Behemoths. Oh, not super mutant hounds. Super mutant hounds are... God, I hate super mutant hounds. It's... Ever since One Wasteland, their damage has been buffed so highly, it's crazy. That just went right through him. Good job, Bethesda, and hit detection. Let's not use the slow stim pack. Let's use the super heal. Bam. Healed. Gotta get rid of that guy with the full auto. Yeah, oh, oh, too far away. I don't feel like dealing with it. Okay, why did my health this chunk? Saw that my health this chunk down. Man, I, I love... I love how you can heal yourself with a radium gun. Or, not radium gun... Yeah, I'm a gun. Both types of radiation, so, meh. I need to... I'm being attacked by something. What am I being attacked by? Pick. Yeah, I'm taking lots of damage. I feel that this update might have messed up Dodgy again. Because, like, almost... Er like, there's so many updates in this game that mess up Dodgy. And like, like a lot of perks get messed up and it just never goes reported because there's a lot of perks people don't use. Like Mysterious Stranger's broken again. <laughs> Blood Eagles. So I have an interesting theory about Blood Eagles. Uh, their former, I believe that they're former military. Like, this is what happened to the one part of the Fallout 76 military. Or Fallout military. Because if you look at Blood Eagles, that's why I hate stim packs. Look how much better that is than a stim pack. But yeah, if you look at what the Blood Eagles wear, they have uh, military gear on. And, uh,. The Blood Eagles are supposed to be biker gangs. If you know like, bi about biker gangs in the United States, like the Hell's Angels, they're usually formed of former military. So it would make... S oh my god, that guy just annihilated my health. What? As you can see, this is why I hate stim packs. It, j it just didn't heal. You saw that, right? I used the stim pack and the health bar just didn't move. 
Was that a, a diluted stem pack? Do I have diluted ones? No. Weird. Yeah, one of the reasons I hate stem packs is because I swear Bethesda nerfed them. Bethesda does do a lot of shadow nerfs. Like, people don't want to mention it, but Bethesda does shadow nerf in this game. I hate my thoughts. I hate my thoughts. I hate my thoughts. Name register. Why did you not register that? Oh, sometimes this game. Sometimes this game. I, sometimes this game is just not registering hits. It, it does that a lot. Like, it won't register your hits sometimes. Oh, he died. Okay, good. I can't believe I died twice to him. I don't know. Ever since this patch today, I've been dying more. I swear. See, that guy has on a marine helmet. A marine ri uh, marine helmet. And and look, they have all... Like, they have former military stuff. That's why I said they're, like, military stuff. Uh, am I even going the right way? Where am I going? Uh, yeah, I should take a turn up here. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. What else? It's been... In 10 minutes already. My videos suck on YouTube. I recognize that. And I don't know what to do for YouTube. <laughs> well, I know what to do. I'm going to be doing stuff. I'm almost finished with that novel. Going to be doing video game tie-in novel reviews. And I'm almost finished with the one. I'm on chapter, I think, uh, 13 of 14 chapters. So I got all my notes prepared. I just need to finish, you know, obviously the last little bit here and there. Not register. I swear that critical didn't register. There we go. Who are you, settlers? I'm all for Raiders. Okay. And you're. Oh, okay. Yeah, the server's lagging. See that guy just slipping? That means that the server's lagging. How he was sliding? Mm. Not good. Ugh. Yeah, I, I have plans for this YouTube channel. Like, um, if you don't know. I have a... I'm also working on another Wasteland Weapon Essex video. That's my secondary Fallout lore channel. I, I hopefully will have that finished um, by Monday. I'm hoping by Monday. Um, I'm, wor I'm working on stuff for YouTube. I'm working... I, I, it's not like I'm not doing anything. Hello. James, stop. Stop. Yes. It was like stuck. Did you see that? It was like stuck in the aiming thing. It's also a problem if it's nighttime in the game and I can't see. Like, I have a CRT, right? So I play on a CRT. And yeah, you're thinking a cathode ray tube? Not, um, yeah, cathode ray tube. But it's an HD CRT. I get anyone with that? Again, I used to- I would survive those before. Weird. I, I think the game's glitching out a little bit. Because I have videos of me surviving explosions like that. I think Dodgy is, is broken. Just my opinion, I think Dodgy's broken. Because it doesn't seem like I'm getting any damage reduction from it. <laughs> And it's just taking away my AP. I'll have to look if anybody said Dodgy's broken again. No, headshot's good. Oh god, the frame drops. <laughs> okay. Dealing with wolves, I just grab a melee weapon. It's just easier because. At all the wolves. Yeah. This way. You probably have a commando weapon. Commando weapons are just so much better than rifleman weapons. 
But I got plenty of. Well, I don't really have plenty of 45. But I have 45. And I've just grown so like bored of this game that I just haven't farmed for ammo on this character because I'm like out of ammo on like every weapon. Like I have good, uh, better weapons, just I'm out of ammo and I just don't feel like grinding for it. I got this. Oh no, not that one. Where is it? This one. This. Quad 25% damage when aiming Enclave Plasma Gun. I got that. I got plenty of g really good guns. I have fixers, you know, I got handmaids. I got all that. It's just, I just, I am just so demotivated to, like, do anything in this game. It's like, hey, Bethesda, and then Bethesda's just like, oh, here's another scoreboard for you to play, for you to do, and it seems Bethesda's not motivated with, um, the scoreboard because the rewards this time are garbage. Like, there is so little on the scoreboard that like, if you compare this scoreboard to, like, Season 1 and 2, like, Season 1 and 2 had so much good stuff on it. The Power Armor skins were good. The, um... Like, everything was, like, there was just so much good on it. Hey, I level up. Alright, there we go. probably saying oh you're bad at this game you're dying a lot it's like sir who cares if you die in this game it's meaningless it's like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I pl that's why i play a berserker build because i want the game to be hard right that's why you play berserker you play berserker because you want the game to be hard you play other builds like i guess all the new builds you can do because you want the game to be easier you know you want to go through killing tons of enemies like there it's nothing right that some people want that i want the game to be harder i don't mind dying right i don't a lot of people are like oh i I don't want to die. That's why they do certain builds, you know. You power armor builds, and they and they put what all of uh, overeaters on it to have the super damage reduction. Let's see. Can I get down here without dying? Probably not. Let's see if I die. Whoop. Huh? Oh. Oh no! It barely damaged me. All right. There we go. And I want the game to be harder. I know what you're saying. It's like, oh, why don't you just use a level one pipe gun? And, uh, yeah. Well, you see. It's because I want the game to be harder, not frustrating, you know. There's a difference between hard and frustrating. There's a difference between Dark Souls and Battletoads, right? Or, like, arcade games, where they're, the arcade games that are designed to make you die so that you, eat as much so you put as much quarters in them as possible. You know, old microtransactions, because people complain about microtransactions now. You know, it's like, have you ever played a quarter muncher? I have. A lot of good old quarter munchers. Where are we going? Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I'll avoid the fissure site, because I don't feel like dealing with a scorch beast. I should really get an Xbox, like, Series X one day, so I can play this game in 60 FPS. So it's not as, like, laggy. Because I've seen it played in 60 FPS on a Xbox One X, where, like, this menu doesn't lag. It doesn't, like, there's no... See how it's, like, stopping? See, stop. 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 <laughs> like, why does this cause the FPS to go down to 1? It's funny. Look, I can make it a slideshow. Just something that's funny. And you can feel it fighting you now, because I have no AP. I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about. It's like, like what can I talk about that hasn't been said in like a, oh. You know what I completely missed? I, I was telling you about the guy, the guy streaming. I completely didn't tell you what he was talking about. It was like how nuke zones are worthless, right? Except for summoning the queen and earl, right? It, you know, they're not high-level zones. You go fight tons of high-level enemies. I mean, they can be. There's a couple spots that are okay. Like, um... But people... you have, Nuke, um, Morgantown. Like, nuke this place. Right? And you can get a lot of ghouls there. Not a lot of people do that. It, I'd say it's it's probably better than White Springs. Because I noticed nobody nukes White Springs anymore. Ever since Bethesda broke the spawns. And never fixed it. 
Thus is very good at that. They're very good at breaking something with a patch and just ignoring it. Like, um, what was it? It's a power... Ever... They tried fixing something with power armor back in 2019. And it broke, like, the power armor animation where... Like, so, whenever you have power armor in this game and you want to switch between power armors, every single time you have to put a new core in, right? When you switch frames. You used to not have to do that. If you had them both in your, um, inventory, you could put down one and just get into the other one. There was no glitches here and there. Or, and what else they broke is that you used to be able to... If you were overcumbered, you used to be able to... And you had, like, two or more power armor frames, you could put them all down. Right, and then fast travel, and I don't... I told... Dang it, I ran right into the fissure site. I, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> so let's go this way instead. Sounds like a very glitchy Scorch Beast over there. This character needs better AP regen. I mean, it's not bad, but it still could be better. Gotta use those buffs that they- those buffing machines that they added. What they like weightlifting thing and like the boxing thing and then they stopped adding those because like those were like the best Scoreboard rewards. I'm just gonna show you whenever we get back what I'm talking about if you're new you might not know what Some of these are Those are the best rewards like hey, here's something that actually helps you with gameplay And now like with and I could come up with better seasons for this game than Bethesda Honestly, that doesn't make me like a dev like a project leader, not not developer. I can't model or code. I can write. I I can write because I'm writing a book right now. I've been writing a book for like uh, it, it it's been off and on. I, I want I want I want to write a book, and I've been writing it, and I'm on like chapter three of my book. I don't think it's gonna be very good. It's kind of just like a bunch of. Well, right now, I, I don't really have a. It's a story right now. Like, I have the like the prologue, I think, is a really cool premise, what I've come up with for this book. The story I'm writing, eh. So far, chapter two. Well, I'm past chapter two. Like, I think chapter one is good, and chapter two is probably not as good. Chapter three, I think, is turning out pretty good, though. And... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I always go the wrong way. I should really put a waypoint, you know, so I know where where to go. Yeah, go that way. It's been 22 minutes. Yeah, it's not too bad. Probably might get it. Might get there under under 30 minutes. I keep going. Do I have? I want to use a better gun. Do I have ammo? I have four shots of this. <laughs> oh, I love this gun. I I will still forever thank the um the subscriber. I think he's still subscribed. I hope you're still subscribed and watching this. Uh, you gave me a bunch of berserker weapons one day, and yeah, I, and I've I'm, I'm always forever grateful for that. You know, me being such a, s a small YouTuber, you know, can barely get a hundred views a video. It's it was you know such a kind person. I've seen a lot of people mention that the uh, Blood Eagles play uh, the banjo. I'm like, well, yeah, isn't that a, um... Crap. It's the name of the movie. I, I always get these two movies confused. I always get Deliverance and The Hills Have Eyes confused for some reason. Speaking of movies, there's actually three movies I want to watch back to back to back. And the three movies are... One's from the 50s, one's from the 70s... No, one's from the 60s, one's from the 70s, and one's from the 2000s. And they're actually all the same movie. With different titles. The one from the 60s is The Last Man on Earth. The one from, I think, the 70s is... with Charlton Heston. Uh, it is The Omega Man. And then I want to watch um, I Am Legend. Because they're all actually... This, they're all actually based on the same book, which is called I Am Legend. It's weird that the first two aren't called I Am Legend, <laughs> but the third one is, and but I think the best one of those is the Omega Man, because I've seen a part of the Omega Man once. I saw like the first maybe like half hour, and then 
I saw the ending to I Am Legend, and I've never seen the 60s one, uh, Last Man on Earth. And I think it'd be cool to watch them back to back to back. I like Charlton Heston's movies. If you're wondering my age, and like, oh, you like Charlton Heston's movies? How old are you? I am 27. I know I sound like I'm 16, right? But I am 27. Yeah, Charlton Heston's a good actor. A lot of good movies. Planet of the Apes. Uh, I think there was one called Earthquake he did. Um, obviously, The Omega Man. Uh, he did a biblical movie. I remember that. Yeah, just a good actor. Just a good old style actor, right? Like, and the requirements for actors have changed so much. Like, uh, Farrah Fawcett. It, I'm sure some of you know who Farrah Fawcett is, an uh, actress. Um, she did a lot of movies. She was in, uh, her first, her first movie was, um, uh, Logan's Run. Really good movie. You should watch Logan's Run. And, if you don't know how she got that job as an actress in there. So, the director saw her, I think, roller skating or something. Like, she was roller skating or playing volleyball. She was doing something just out, you know. She wasn't an actress and... What is this texture? Alright. Yeah, but she was just out. She was just a random, you know, a, a girl who was just out, you know, just living her life. And the director says, Yo, hey, you want to be in a movie? And yeah, that's how you know, they used to pick up actors and actresses back then. It's such a weird thing, you know? Like, I think that's how William Defoe got into acting as well. There's a, there's a video on YouTube about... Uh, William Defoe and like his first career like to what he does I think last year cuz he's he's in a lot of good movies he's in the Boondock Saints that's a good movie I like the Boondock Saints because just the premise of like the director the director was just like a guy if I remember he he's like there's no movie I want to see right now so I'm just gonna go make my own and he did and he made the Boondock Saints which was amazing and then he made a second one, which I don't think is as amazing. I remember the first one. Hey, we're back at the... Under 30 minutes, 28 minutes. Okay, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. But yeah, so before we go, I'm going to leave you with a story. So I went to the grocery store last week with a friend. He randomly invited me to go shopping for some reason. He's done this multiple times. And we're all... And we're at this one store, the grocery store, and I pick up less than five dollars worth of things. I get like those like yakka soba or whatever, the like uh, noodles that you mix with water, heat up in the microwave. I get like two of those and a drink. Comes out to less than five dollars. I hand the cas cashier ten bucks. Ten dollars, right? And he gives me the change and I hold out my hand for him to put the change in it. Alright? And I swear, he looks at me, drops the money on the floor, turns around and goes, Whoops. Because it was like some like 16, 17 year old kid had a real weird freaking haircut. It's just like, I, I, I swear he did that on purpose, all right? I swear he did. I, I didn't think much of it at the time, but as we were exiting the store, I asked my friend, did he drop my money on the ground on purpose? And my friend said, it looked like he, he did. So yeah, I went, and I, don't, I didn't do anything wrong to him. Like, I had no idea who he was, so, I don't know. And I... When I got home, I was thinking, maybe it was because I was wearing a World of Warcraft shirt. Like, that can be the only thing, you know, because of controversy going around with Blizzard these days. That's the only thing I can think about, is that maybe it was the World of Warcraft shirt. And it wasn't even, like, a good World of Warcraft shirt. It was just, like, it's one that says Hogger on it. So, like, unless you played World of Warcraft, you would have, you would have no idea who Hogger is. But yeah, if you made it this far into the videos into the video uh can you comment the word um spaghetti down in the comment section i just want to see if anyone's made it to the end because youtube says most people click off my videos within the first i think five minutes so yeah
Alright, see you later. 30 minutes. Bye.